Okay, so first technique we're going to be breaking down is in the video called Wu Song Escaping Handcuffs. Uh, many of us in the rope dart world simply call it manacle. Now, there are many ways to do this in both flow and martial context. But since we're keeping true to the originals here, I'm going to be showing it exactly that way. So first thing, front and back demonstration. Here we go. Okay. So to start this breakdown, I'm simply going to stand here and try to center this as much as possible and slow-mo what's going on when I do this, without any footwork and without the launch. Okay, so as we can see, fairly simple stuff, but since it's hard to see what's going on in the video, um, maybe a little bit tricky. So, the first step is simply to cast out to our lead side and allow it to pass over the bicep of that same arm while keeping it in the thumb here and letting it pass under. Now it's going to be over here. So as it's over here we want to take our uh, anchor arm and let it go over that like this. And at this point we are kind of at this perfect X. The last step is for it to come back up into the lead hand. Now we have the shape that we're looking for. So once again, that's out to the side and over the lead arm, and then we want to let it fall on the bicep of the anchor arm, and then back up into our lead hand. That's all there is to it. So. Because this is done in a very specific way, using the one leg stances and sort of a pivot jump, we gotta, we gotta do it with that, the sort of footwork and body movement. So as we're casting out, which can be done with an elbow shot or it could be simply cast out, any shot that casts out to the lead side, we can go straight into this movement. But as it starts to come back to the anchor side, we want to lift that, that leg the lead leg. So we're here, here, and then as it's starting to come back to this side, we lift this leg, leaving us kind of in a stall position at this point, which is where we reverse the direction and step, turn, and flip, and pivot. Okay, so we're here, and we've stalled at this point. We have our handcuffs, and we've stalled we're, we're stepping here, kind of with a, with a bit of a hop, and turning, and replacing the other foot, right? So where our anchor foot goes down, we essentially want to replace it with this foot, with the lead foot. Here, here, replace, and launch. So that's all there is to it, is just doing that arm wrap, but assorting the weight distribution of the body and allowing that to aid in the movement of the weapon. So there are two stalls here, we have, or three rather, one, two, three. Now the second and third stall, we're assorting our weight with it accordingly. So we're going here, stall, here, stall. So just think you're of, you're penduluming your body in the same way as the weapon is stalled. You stall to that side, which sort of serves as the momentum that we're going to need to jump and shoot back this way. So by reversing here, by stalling here and reversing, we're 
giving a lot more torque and power to this movement. So that is the way it's done in the video with powerful intent. Now there are ways, of course, just to do manacles without even so much of anything and a lot of different things you can do outside and within it. Um, so, but that's the way it's broken down in the video. So that's it. So look forward to more of these videos to come where I break down these movements and see you guys next time.